Hi everyone, welcome to Sorrows Gaming's Top 10 Tournament Tips for 2020. Now tip number one, follow a build guide. Now your skill tree needs to be optimal to even stand a chance in a tournament. So you can find build guides on the Compradium website or you can watch my build resources video which I'll show you the type of different builds and how to make your own build as well. I will link that in the description below. Uh, having a very optimal build is very essential. If you're not following a build, I would definitely recommend that being the first thing you should look at to optimize your build settings first. Tip number two, follow an artifact optimizer to make sure your artifacts are leveled efficiently. Now there are several artifact optimizers out there. There's mobile app ones that link straight to your game like TT2 Helper and TT2 Master App. And you can also find some more optimizers on the Compdim websites. So there's MMLHs, which is a Google sheet you can use, or you can use the artifact optimizer tool as shown on the screen, which you just input some figures and it'll tell you which artifacts to optimize best for your build. Again, I've done videos on how to use these, which I'll link in the description below as well. If you have any trouble going through them, you can watch those guys telling you how to use them. Now, optimizing your artifacts is also the next step you should be, you should be doing. So really, it's all about building your foundation to make sure you're quite powerful before you begin the tournament. Tip number three, join a higher level clan. Join a, le a higher level clan does help. Now you may not be able to join the super high tier clan ones like the top 300 clans um, as a new player because it's sometimes uh, max stage requirements, level requirements, but you can join mid tiers and as you start learning the game, and as you start powering up, then you can work your way up to higher level clans. Now, just a quick note, don't use the in-game directory that you can see here. Those clans will be around about your level, so they'll be either very low or very empty. Try to search for clans in places like Tap Titans 2's Facebook group, Reddit page, or the official Discord server. You can also search for clans in my Discord server. I'll put Tap Titans official Discord and my Discord both links will be in the description below so you can search for clans in there hopefully you can get to a higher clan with better xp now the benefit of a high level clan is clan xp the higher the level uh, the higher the clan xp the higher you, your level advanced stage start will be now the higher your advanced stage start means you will start a higher level when you prestige and start a new run this shortens your run time which means you have more time to farm and for more resources so it's a quite quite a substantial amount of time save and also it means it's a great help for you in tournaments because you can do more farming and also means you can get more relics and push more compared to your competitors tip number four level up your books of shadows raise your books and shadows a minimum of 50 percent ltr in between tournaments the higher the better now some people do have it around about 80 to 90 percent uh, you don't necessarily have to be that high but the higher the high any higher than 50 percent would be a great start now if you haven't got books of shadows don't worry this is guaranteed between the 6th and 30th artifact owned now this applies for artifact artifacts that are owned not salvaged so if you have any salvaged it won't count to that total uh, just to let you know about salvage, don't, don't salvage any artifacts. There's no really, there's no point uh, for this purpose as well. One, it means you gotta get more artifacts to increase your chance, so it's a waste of salvaging. And also, you need all 97 to start enchantments anyway. So just as a beginner's tip, don't bother try salvaging just yet. It's not, there's no real worth it. And, and if you want to know what LTR looks like or where to find it. Looking at the left hand of the screen, you can see it says percentage of lifetime relics. This is what we abbreviate to LTR. This is where you can find it. Tip number five, banking relics. Banking relics means you prestige to collect your relics, but then you do not spend them. Keep them saved and do another run. Now I usually bank about three to five runs before starting a tournament. This takes me about one to two hours. So depending on how long your run takes, give yourself enough time before starting a tournament to start banging some relics. 
tip number six, banking shards. Same with relics, unspent shards can be saved and should be used in tournaments only. Use them to get new equipment or complete a set for a new set bonus will give you an extra power needed to help in tournament to help get a higher position in. So getting things like mythic sets, especially mythic sets, one of the powerful sets in the game, gives you a massive boost during tournament, plus you get relics multipliers, so which helps you farm a bit more relics as well during tournaments. Tip number seven, save your diamonds. Save your diamonds to be used in tournaments only, so stockpile them just like the relics and the shards. So once you start the tournament to buy pets, so you can also buy things like Titan chests from a shop, especially if they're on double offer. For example, if they've got double uh, skill points or double dust, then it's a good time to buy the TC chests. Apart from that, you should be buying stuff like all damage, all gold, fluffers and kits first. If they're not in a shop, then buy any of the other pets. What's good to check out is check the pet levels and get the ones that unlock the next passive bonus level. So if you're one or two levels away from locking the next pet bonus level, get that one first compared to other ones. Now another tip, never use diamonds to buy equipments in a shop, never. And the reason being is because normally they're very expensive, like 800 diamonds or more, and they do become weak very quickly. So for example, you could spend 800 diamonds to buy a legendary item in the shop, and then the very next day a mythic item could drop or even on the same day which means the item we just bought becomes totally useless and a to totally waste of diamonds also as you progress faster and you level up faster equipment raises levels anyway so there's really no point spending diamonds on equipment they, they just become weak way too quickly Tip number eight, there is no porter in the first run of the tournament. So make sure you reach your current max stage on your first run as a portal will only be unlocked up until that level. Now the higher stages you reach after your max stage, the more porter skips you can get and in turn help increase your relic yield. So after your first run, you prestige, then the portal will be unlocked as normal on your second run up until the tournament stage that you reached previously. Tip number nine, new artifacts and leveling books or shadows. Now, if you're doing lots of runs during a tournament and your books or shadow falls under 1%, I would recommend to raise your books or shadows up again. So do a couple of runs to get it back over 50% or raise even higher and then go back to level up your other artifacts when you finish doing that. Only do this if you've got enough time to do so. If you're in the last hour of, of the tournament, then it, you might not have enough time to do that. So there's no point, just keep pushing with what you've got. But if, you've, if you're halfway through or if you just started and you've got plenty of time, by all means, level up your Book of Shadows, then go back to your artifacts. Now to get new artifacts, I normally get these when it costs less than one run to do so. So maybe one or two run worth of relics. If you've got to save up for three or four runs worth of relics to buy one artifact, then it's too soon. You should be concentrating on raising up your existing artifacts your books and shadows and raising your max stage first and when it then becomes cost efficient to buy a new artifact under one run then I would buy a new artifact then. Tip number 10 now this is this is a big one and potentially one of the most important ones realizing your potential sometimes even when you prep and do all the hard work and even if you've listened through all the tips and everything you can it may not be enough to get first spot. There could be a number of reasons. So you could be against pay to play players. They could be better prepared or more optimized, or they can just be insane players. that just love to play 24 seven and do a constant grind. And it's just impossible to keep up because you've got work, college, uni or social life. Whatever the case may be, it's better to pick your battles so you can win the war. An example of this is when a tournament begins, wait until the 20 hour mark. Now each tournament are 20 hours long, but there's a four hour joining window. So once it's under 20 hours, those players currently in a tournament will be locked in and no more players can join. So once it's under the 20 hour mark, it give you, you know exactly who you're gonna go against and how many people are left to battle. Now check the player stats and compare them to yours so that all the players above you or the top players in the tournament. This will give you a great indication on how the tournament goes. So just click on the name and it gives you the same information that your player profile will give you. 
So for example, you can see access to um, how many tournament points they have. For example, if they have twice as many tournament points, it might mean they have higher passive skill levels. And if they have higher passive, it, it means their runs might be faster. So obviously shorter run time, more farming for them. Again, with pet levels, if the top players have thousands of more pet levels than you, then you know it might be hard time tournament and beating that person, especially if they also have high clan XP. So as I mentioned before, the higher the clan XP they have to you, the higher the advanced stage start, which means shorter run times for them and more potential farming for them. So that's also a threat. The purpose to watch out for these red flags is to help you to save your banking potential for the right tournaments. So if you can't win first place in this tournament, then save your shards and your diamonds for the next one so you can get first place in that one. I would recommend to always push as usual. So push with all the tips as mentioned in this video, but just check the player stats above you and judge accordingly to think, is it actually possible getting first? And if not, maybe getting a comfortable second or third, not wasting your uh, diamonds or your shards or your time pushing for hours and still not getting first. So just judge accordingly and judge which is best if it's possible to win, if not, save for next time. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If I have, and if any of these tips helped you, like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. I try to release tap titan videos at least three or four times a week. And if you enjoyed this, leave a comment below to see if any of these tips you have or haven't heard before and which have worked for you. And um, with that, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care, bye.